Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood for 23 years giving Islam his blood, his sweat and his tears. Every single time any challenge came to him, what was his answer? Ya Bilal, arihna bis salah. Oh Bilal, give the coolness of my heart, my coolness of my eyes in prayer. His enemies were in front, his munafiqeen were in the back. Ya Bilal, where are you? Give the call to prayer. His wife passed away, his uncle passed away, his children passed away. Ya Bilal, arihna bis salah. He was thrown out, his companions were thrown out, the companions were dying in the battle. What did he say? Ya Bilal, arihna bis salah. Nothing to eat except the two black ones, the dates and the water. Ya Bilal, arihna bis salah. Ya Bilal, arihna bis salah. Such was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. With prayer, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would link with Allah Azza With Salah, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would find his peace. When was the last time we found peace in our Salah? When was the last time we complained to Allah instead of complaining to anyone else? Inni ashku bathi wa huzni ila Allah. Verily I complain of my, of, of my problems and my worries only to Allah Azza Let me give you the example of how Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam connected with Allah. In the authentic hadith in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, Abdullah ibn Shakir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that I entered upon Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whilst he was praying and I saw that his beard was dripping wet as if a bucket of water had been poured on his head. As if a bucket of water had been poured on his head and his beard was dripping wet from crying from the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Salaam, can you imagine that? Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam crying so much from the fear of Allah. Can you imagine that? In the authentic hadith, Hudayfa radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I prayed with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the middle of the night and he, in the first rak'ah, he recited Surah Baqarah, Surah Al Imran, and Surah An Nisa. And he stopped at every verse where Allah mentions Jannah. And he asked Allah, Oh Allah, let me enter Jannah. And he stopped at every verse of Jahannam. And he said, Ya Allah, save me from Jahannam. Every verse, Ya Salam. Six to seven hours of praying at night. And in the morning, jihad in the cause of Allah. With no food to eat, nothing to drink and fasting for three to four days at a time. Such was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Such was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, I found, I woke up in the middle of the night and I searched around for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I, my hands touched his feet whilst he was praying and he was saying in his sajda the following dua. What is the dua that he was saying? Allahumma inni a'udhu bi ridaka min sakhatik. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in your good mercy and your goodness from your anger. Wa bi mu'afatika min uqubatik. And in your forgiveness from your punishment. Wa a'udhu bika minka. And I seek refuge in you from you. La uhsi thana'un alayk. I cannot praise you adequately. Anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. You are as you praise yourself. Look at the way the Prophet praised Allah. Look at the way his heart went out to Allah. Look at the way how he was doing it purely without telling his wife, sincerely between him and Allah alone. In the authentic hadith, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrated that he once prayed with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the middle of the night. And the Prophet sallallahu made the following dua. Listen to the dua. It is wallahi, not the words of someone except a prophet of God. Listen to how Rasulullah called out to Allah. And imagine when was the last time you called out to Allah in the same way. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. Allahumma, O oh our Lord. Anta nuru samawati wal ardi wa man fihin. You are the light of the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between. Lakal hamd for you is praise. Anta fatiru samawati wal ardi wa man fihin. You are the originator of the heavens and the earth and that which is in it. Lakal hamd and for you is praise. Anta qayyumu samawati wal ardi wa man fihin. You are the supporter and the nourisher and cherisher and sustainer of the heavens and the earth and that which is in it.
walakal hamd and for you is praise allahumma allahumma anta al haq oh allah you are the truth wa qawluka al haq and your statement is true wa wa'duka al haq and your promise is true wal jannatu haq and jannah is true wan naru haq and the fire is true wan nabiyuna haq and the prophets are true wa muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam haq and muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is true allahumma bika amant allahumma i believed in you wa alayka tawakkalt and upon you i have put my trust wa bilayk wa ilayka hakamt and to your judgment i have submitted wa alayk wa ilayka khasam and to you i complain faghfir li ma qaddamt wa akhart forgive me that which i have done in the past and what i have yet to do wa ma asrat wa ma alant and that which i have done publicly and that which i will do in secret faghfir li ma qaddamt wa ma akhart wa ma asrat wa ma alant wa ma anta alamu bihi minni and that which you know more about me than me anta al muqaddim wa anta al muakhir you are the first and you are the last la ilaha illa ant there is no god but you this is how our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam pursued the pleasure of allah azza wa jal by praising him and worshiping him show worshiping him in a way by allah that no one could ever do ya salam and this is how his heart connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala